This show is sponsored by the SalesCast community, the operating system for the B2B podcasting industry, made up of sales, marketing, and revenue professionals. We have an inclusive online community, courses, tutorials, events, guest matching, and even world-class managed production and booking services. Our mission is to connect 100 million sellers to the power of story. Let's start with yours. Join for free at salescast.community. Now, I, we've said this a few times to the, to the community, is that your relationship with that person starts after the interview. That's when the relationship starts. And that's where most podcasters drop the ball is that's mm-hmm. where they end the relationship. Oh, thank you came on the show. That's it. That must be all we have to do. If you're not, if you're going to buy from me, you'll reach out to me like, okay, I did my job, whatever. (laughs) And I think the challenge there is a lot of people want to be famous on the social platforms. Look, I know I'm just going to put it out there and, you know, being famous on the social platforms and chasing the vanity metrics are cool, maybe, but they, a lot of people forget to build their personal brand and the experience with the one-to-one relationships, Mm -hmm. which is really the most important thing. Like people that have come on your show, Rob, it's an experience number one. And then they, um, they, you know, they have an experience and they're going to be much more likely to tell their friends about the show to engage with your content so that you're popping in so that your content's popping up into the feed of their, of their Mm -hmm. second degree connections. And so uh, a lot of people forget to work and I've guessed it on a lot of shows. So I've seen, you know, people who do it well and people who do it not good at all and not good at all is, you know, once you, they ask you to share the content and then you never hear from them again, or they don't support you on the platforms and you're like, you know, so um, building that high quality network of just people from your show can really amplify your brand across all yeah. platforms with good quality targeted people that you've been intentional about building relationships with. Well, let's say you still want that celebrity status. If you know the story of how Taylor Swift came to popularity, she would meet all of her fans after the show, take a selfie with them, engage Mm -hmm. with them, get to learn who they were. Sometimes it would be hundreds. Sometimes it could be a thousand after a show. And those those people that maintain that status and influence in the long run do book signings, do meet and greets, send videos or reply to tweets, right? It's, Mm -hmm. it's still doing the work with your audience. You can't get so fancy. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, Gary Vee, why he's still so very relevant is he's, he he gets in the mix with people, right? Um, Elon Musk, again, like he broke clubhouse. He went into a clubhouse (laughs) live and he goes onto Twitter and he talks to people like, whatever you think about these people, like the fact is they know that if they engage, it makes a big difference. And, you know, kind of like bringing this all kind of full circle, you have all these guests on and it's like dating, right? You know, when you, when you have a really good date and you ask somebody to like, some of our podcasts are asking deep personal questions or asking for emotion driven type of things, right? Like, the, like they're getting deep onto who they are. They're going to share things with you that, they might not share in a normal conversation because the podcasts are willing to go deeper. And so you got to respect the fact that they just gave you that, that emotional opening to, to, to follow up with them later. And so you want to respect that and you want to thank them and and you want to have some sort of opportunity. If they, if they, you know, they, something, you're going to have guests that are going to just like not say anything. It's like, look, I was there to be on the pod and I'm done. Like that was what it was like, cool. But you made the first move, right? Always be the one to make the first move. Like I've guessed on a lot of podcasts. And one of them, actually, two of them never, never got produced because after the conversation, they thought that while well, it was a great conversation, there was just so much going on. They decided not to, for whatever reason. And, you know, I just called them out. I was like, Hey, I wanted to know if I missed this. Like, I want to make sure to promote it. If for whatever reason, you're not going to put it out. Like, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Like, if it just didn't hit the right way you thought, like feedback would be great. I'm not too proud. I just want to make sure that I promoted the podcast and one of them didn't respond to the other one was like, Hey Rob, I really appreciate you reaching out. Like that meant a lot to me. 
Um, and like, we've had a really great relationship kind of moving forward and like supporting what they're doing and supporting their show and gave some, I was like, Hey, here's some feedback I had from your last episode. Just wanted to share a podcast with a podcaster. Like I know that my episode, Hey, like, let me know what I can do to be a service to you. And, and it's actually been interesting because she's introduced me to a few other people that may come on my show. You know, it's like, look, I did a podcast. She didn't want to produce the episode. Cool. But that didn't stop me from following up and driving a great connection because I know there's value in that relationship because we had a great conversation that pod recording. Like you need to leverage these things to completion and not give up on them.